Hello. In this tutorial I want to talk about the dodge and burn tools that Photoshop gives us and it's my preferred method of adjusting the brightness and contrast within uh, a photograph that you might want to be uh, dealing with. Uh, but the dodge and burn I think requires a bit of an explanation. Uh, it comes from um, the use of when we develop a, um, a, a picture from a film negative in an enlarger, the negative um, is uh, put into the carrier and the light shone through onto the photographic sensitive paper on the easel. And um, it may be through test strips you've done or your observation of the negative that there may be some areas where um, it is overexposed or underexposed and if you wanted to uh, deal with those problems then uh, those areas that are underexposed you would allow more light to go through and so with your hands or a bit of a card you would mask out those areas and let more light through and conversely if there were areas that were overexposed then you would want to restrict the light so in the first case in the first case they would call that where you let more light through burning and in the opposite case it would be a matter of uh, the opposite. Well, I have a picture here on, on the screen, which I'm going to do a little bit of quick work on. Uh, and as always with Photoshop, you make a copy of that background, which is Command J or Control J. And you see up here that we're now on layer one, and that is the area active and we will be working on that. The other thing which is important I think when you're working on a picture is to enlarge it as much as possible so with Z on the keyboard and you have your zoom tool and you can enlarge as much as you like uh, not going far enough to sort of get it pixelated but as much as you like if you want to move around the picture then you hold the space bar down and you can move around so very quickly we'll do a little bit of dodging and burning now with every tool that you have of course you have a, um, a uh, options and things. You will find the dodge and burn tool down here at the bottom of your toolbox and if it isn't already there it's hidden or contained within the sponge tool. So we're going to choose the burn tool and with the options you have at the top you will have a brush and a brush size. Always use a soft edge brush the size, well I'm going to use a pretty large size just so you can see what's happening but in reality I would use various sizes of brushes to go around little individual parts of the picture. To increase or decrease your brush size you use the square right hand bracket to increase and I think that should be big enough for you to see and conversely to reduce the size you would use the uh, left hand square bracket. So the other important thing is that um, you have the option to deal with the mid-tones, the shadows or the highlights and I would recommend that you deal with the mid-tones first and very importantly the exposure. If you were to put the exposure up to 100% it would be quite dramatic so around about 20% is, uh, is good. So if we, if we go here for example and we burn this area here I think you can see that there's much more information coming out from that that rock there and there and along here and we are dealing with the mid tones here if you go too far then obviously control Z will undo the last thing and you can go back and back and back and back as far as you like so 
I will just play about here for a little while and see what we see what we think. Oh, that's quite nice. It's uh, you can drag over the areas, and then we'll move on to another position somewhere. Ah, uh, let's see what happens. Oh, that's wonder. That's great. That is absolutely wonderful. Can you see how those mid tones are being darkened, and it's throwing forward these light areas and throwing back the other areas. Um, if we want to fit it on the screen, then Control or Command Zero, um, and we can work around the picture like that. Um, always sort of enlarging the areas we want to work on. Uh, we go back to our brush tool. We must reduce the size of the brush now. Let's have a look around here. Oh, that's brilliant. You see, yeah, that, that is bringing out much more sort of contrast in these areas and more definition. And you can work, oh, that's lovely there. That is brilliant. Yes, you can you can work around your picture all over. And we're actually now almost describing those individual blades of grass. So, um, in order that I don't keep this too long and these massive uh, files are being created, I'll leave it there. So I hope maybe you would like to play about with the dodge and burn tool and um, see if you don't think that is a better method of uh, doing your brightness and contrast within your picture. So thank you and uh, goodbye.